With Emulation Station's brand new 3.0, we have a beautiful new linear theme to look at. But wouldn't it be great if sometimes for some systems you could see the actual file name of these guys? Things like LAJ or DMS or ADF or whatever. It can be very helpful. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Stick around. Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna to have to do two downloads today. We're gonna to have to grab the source code to the DSDE front end, go to the page, all the links are in the description, click code and zip. We're gonna save that to our downloads folder. Then we're gonna to go to a file that I've staged for you that has a couple of override files, also in the description below. Go ahead and save that one. And we're done with the browser. Next up, open the Dolphin File Manager and go to your Downloads and your Home folder. Inside of Downloads, we're gonna extract each of these files we just downloaded, one at a time. All right, and in our Home side here, we're gonna go over to ESDE and into Themes. There's nothing in there, really. We are going to navigate inside the source code and grab a copy of the linear theme. And we're gonna copy it to the Theme folder on our local machine. There are two files we're gonna overwrite here today, colors and theme. We're gonna break those down for the people who wanna see exactly how they work, but for now, just copy them over, overwrite, make sure you do an overwrite on both of them. And that's really it. If uh, this is what you came for, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, right? Now let's take a look at what that looks like now that we've done this, and I'll show you how those files work and how you can make changes to them if you don't necessarily like what I've chosen. Now when we run ESDE from Steam, you can now see that the file name for each of the files that we're highlighting is showing up below. Very, very helpful, especially for something like the Amiga here, where you might have five copies of the same game, but they're in different formats, like uh, a disk image or IPF or LHJ or ADF. You could have the same games multiple times because maybe one's in NTSC or one's in PAL, all sorts of different reasons. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, at what we got going on. If I open up the colors.xml, you will see that I've added a node right here under the dark theme called file name color, and I made it yellow using standard hex codes for HTML. Now, you would have to replicate this if you're using the light theme, you'd need to copy this and put it under light or NSO or whatever. These are like the sub theme variants. I only put it in the one, give us an opportunity to talk about it, um, but also most people are probably just gonna be using the theme as default. Now, how we patch that in there is a little more complicated. We'll open the theme.xml file, and we're gonna do a search for the word physical, because this is a pretty long file, there's a lot going on, but if you search for the word physical, you'll find a node here that says text name, physical name extension. These are all the little pieces, where it's positioned, how big it is, its origin, the metadata information, default values, all of these things that you can mess with. See, there's that file name color. Now, if for some reason you didn't wanna override the colors that way, you could grab one of these other variables, primary color or game list metadata label and paste that right in here and change that. I just wanted something yellow that stuck out that was a little bit brighter, just never quite looked right being gray or white. But of course, that choice is yours. Now to undo all this, just delete the theme. That's all there is to it. You delete the theme, everything goes back to normal. Uh, it, it's really that simple. This is probably the most non-destructive way we can do this and give you a quick out if something goes wrong. See, all of those changes are now gone. I really like having access to the file name. It's not always necessary, depending on which of these types of systems that you're doing, but honestly, I really like having it, and uh, maybe you do too. Listen, let's clean up after ourselves. Go ahead and don't forget, clear all the things you downloaded and extracted. We don't need that uh, hanging around. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. As usual, please like this video, please subscribe, and of course, ring the bell, get notified of future videos just like this one. I'm Shane Armonroe. thanks for watching.